Hi Year 3, happy Thursday and we are near, nearing the end of our first week of video learning. So we are doing some maths and we want to start afresh, get your maths brain into gear by doing a five a day like we did on Monday. So if you go into your uh, OneDrive file, find your five a day, which looks like this. This is your five a day. What I would like you to do is to pause the video now, make sure you've got yourself a pencil, make sure you're ready and time yourself no more than 10 minutes. That's the maximum time I'd like you to do this in to write the answers in. Remember to show you're working out if you can as well. If you know it mentally, brilliant, but sometimes it's nice to show you're working out so I can see how you got your answer. So pause the video now, and then we will come back together to do some marking together. Okay, hope you've managed to fill that all out. Remember five questions, we're trying to get five out of five when we can. So I'm going to start with um, this question down here, nice and simply, name this shape, one, two, three, four, five sided shape, all equal sides. Did you write down the word pentagon? If you did, you can give yourselves a tick. It is a five sided shape, we call it a pentagon. Well done if you got that one right. Moving over here to this question. Now we have touched on this a little bit in our time topic this week. Um, and I've spoken about it with a couple of the groups. So hopefully you've put it into your um, memory bank. If not, we're going to do a little bit more on this next week. So don't worry. How many days in a year did you write 365, 365? If you did, give yourself a tick. And I'm going to be extra kind because in a leap year, we have one extra day, 366 days, 366. If you wrote 366, I'm going to say you can have it as well. So 365 or 366. Well done if you got those two right. I'm going to stop the share now and we're going to have a look at this addition sum together. And I'm going to stand up onto the board to show you how I worked it out. So the addition sum 65 add 34 equals. So you could do it in your column addition method. How I've done here, five and four is nine, six and three is nine, or you can do 60 and 30 is 90. Five and four is nine and put them back together to make 99. You could have done either one of those methods to get your answer 99. Who got 99 on their score? Give yourselves a tick if you did. And remember, use a green pencil to mark, not your normal pencil. We don't want to see you cheating. We want to see your accurate answers, your honest answers. OK, so moving back on, I'm going down to this one down here. So I have 45p. How much more do I need to make a pound? So if I stop the share there, we did this on Tuesday, our number bonds to 100. So your written method, if you needed it, on a number line, I've just drawn a real quick number line here. 45p goes at the end. And we are going all the way here to one pound. Now, if you know, um, about money, one pound is equal to 100 pennies. So we're going from 45 to 100. Now you might be able to do this in your head mentally, which is great, but this is the written method to prove that we know how to get there. I'm gonna do a jump to the next multiple of 10. So 45 to the next multiple of 10 is 50. So I've added on five, and then I'm gonna jump all the way to 100, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I've added on 50. So 50 and five makes 55 is your answer. Now it's not just 55, I'm gonna be really strict. It is 55p because we were looking at money. So that's really important that you write your P on to show what you're recording in your measurements. Okay, so back to our five a day. Now we're looking at this one, perpendicular lines. Now perpendicular lines, we had a question last, um, last time about two lines that were like train tracks. They were called parallel lines. So those lines continued and they never ever met. Can anybody remember what the perpendicular lines are? Let me just clean this off so I can do it and I've got a ruler ready. It's really important when we're doing um, work on lines or shapes that we use a ruler. And the same with your time work if you're doing your hands, please use a ruler if you've got one. So perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines, if you can recall, are two lines that join at a right 
angle. Okay, so just check that's dry. I'm going to draw one like this. I'm going to draw a straight line across here. And a right angle is the same as the corner of your book or the shape of an L like this. So these two lines join at a right angle there. They are perpendicular lines. Now you could have drawn it in a different way because we did some work on this in class. So you could have drawn a cross like this to show other perpendicular lines because these are all right angles here. Or you could have drawn a, like a T shape two lines joining at a right angle. There we go. So there's a, a join there and a join there. So if you've drawn any of those lines to show two lines joining at a right angle, perpendicular lines, you can give yourselves a tick. Well done. So how many did you get right? How many did you get right? Give yourself a mark. Five out of five, four out of five. It shows you what you need to work a little bit more on. Give yourself a score. And maybe in your Zoom call later, you could tell us what score you got. If you want to, in your coloured pencil, to write the real answers, the right answers on if you got them wrong, that's a good idea as well to remind yourself what the right answer was. Well done, everybody. So let's go back to time. So today, um, a little bit, a little bit different to um, to yesterday because, um, as you know, we are now live on YouTube as well. So our YouTube clips uh, are on our Year Three Finstall page, and uh, we still have the video saved on our OneDrive folder. So today, Group One, you will have your own um, video to watch for your task today. Group. Um, three, you're going to do what group two did yesterday. So group three, when you're looking for your video, it will be in the OneDrive folder where, where it should be. But if you're going onto YouTube, you need to look for group two Wednesday's file video because you're doing what they did yesterday. So you're looking for group two Wednesday. Or if you go into OneDrive, you'll see that you're, um, I've renamed it in there for you. When I introduce it, I say that it's for group um, two. So just ignore the little introduction I do. But the task and the video is all for you for today. Group two, likewise, you are going to do group one's work from yesterday. So when you go onto YouTube, I want you to find group one Wednesday and do that task today. Again, ignore my introduction because I, I think I do say it's for group one but it's the same task as they did yesterday. So I just want you to watch the video and do the work set. As I said, group one, you've got a new video saved. So you're looking for group one Thursday. It's a little bit confusing, I know, but I'm sure you'll manage. So group three, you are looking for group two Wednesday. And group two, you're looking for group one Wednesday on YouTube. In the OneDrive, I've renamed them so you shouldn't have to worry. But when the introduction comes up and I'm talking about what whose group it's for, <clears throat> don't be confused if it's the wrong group. It's just because there was no need for me to re-record exactly the same task. I hope that makes sense. Good luck with today and I look forward to seeing some of your work soon. Take care.